morning happy friday i have a pretty light meeting day today a lot of my co-workers are out so i'm going to be heads down doing some design work and documentation which i'm really excited for i woke up with the biggest cramps this morning but this ginger tea will fix it so cheers and at least my hoodie is hooding today so I'm not mad about that. Oh my gosh, I love my coworkers. Let me show you guys something. So every Friday during stand up, we will do these little like pick your meme for the day and she nailed it she nailed this one i love it i think i'm feeling a a six today <laughs> with my cramps and everything that's going on let me show you guys my current setup right now this heating pad is life-changing i go to sleep with it sometimes and you can select the level of heat, high, medium, low. I'm using high right now, but it's highly recommend for all the girlies out there. So I'm working on some design documents and I usually do this when I have a large initiative or a medium sized feature to work on. I find that most of the time a product manager will have their own version of the PRD or product requirement, but I like having my own to refer to while I'm designing. It's also a really good practice if you're trying to level up your career because the more senior you are, the more involved you have to be in feature scoping. So what goes into a design doc? Well, I typically start with a pain point or user need, so a short one or two sentence of why we're building this thing. For example, let's say we're building a new AI feature for a calendar management app. So the user needs here could be a feature that streamlines the scheduling process by analyzing their availabilities and preferences to suggest the best meeting times. And then we'll go into a business need. So how would this feature bring in more revenue or user growth for the company? For example, by enabling users a way to automate optimal meeting times, we'll see an increase in pro subscriptions and attract new users with a differentiator. And then I'll go into requirements. I like putting in a table. It's just easier to digest the information this way. I'll list out what are some absolute must-haves to solve the problem that I listed above. I also like having a comment section because I might have an open question for an engineering team. So having these documents can be really helpful, especially when you're just you know, in the final stage of the design. It's easy to forget the goals of why you're even doing this in the first place. So today after work is going to be pretty eventful. I am seeing a friend from Figma. We are doing a little um, brainstorming together on a project that is coming out later this year. I am so excited for that. I'll go see Emily. She is also a product designer at TikTok. 
I haven't seen her for two years. We used to live in Seattle together, so we're gonna do some catch up and maybe go out afterwards, depending on how we feel after dinner. Or oh, we're going to this really good Greek restaurant, so I'll take you guys there. Her birthday is coming up. What should we get her? So I'm preparing for sprint planning, which is on Monday. And for those of you who are still new to product design, most product team will follow a two week cycle to work on a new feature or select something from the backlog to work on. So we're currently at the end of the current sprint. So I'm just going to Jira to update the status of my design tickets. I'm having a one-on-one -on -one with my favorite developer and after discussing some really important work matters, we talked about her birthday trip to Napa and we both love sparkling wine so I was telling her all of my favorite spots for her birthday. It is currently 3pm. I'm gonna get changed really quickly and then we have one more meeting and we'll get out of here. I got them coconut jellies and dried mangoes from Thailand. Just leaving it here so I don't forget when I leave. Now I'm just doing some housekeeping tasks like updating the customer interview CRM. I may need to revise my research plan based on the upcoming sprint. But yeah, that is my last thing on my list today. I am very excited to unbox this. I'm going to do a separate video just to dive a little deeper into this guy so you all can decide if you want to spend $150 on this. But first impression, I love the colors. I think they're so on brand. I think it's going to be such a cute addition to my desk. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day today just setting this up and filming the whole thing. So don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.